Hey, what's up everyone? So, I know I haven't made a video in a while, and so today I thought I'd make one on a little project I decided to do, and I kind of accidentally poured a little too much money into. Um, criticize me later for that, but, um, so this, if you guys don't know, isn't a color iPod. It's a grayscale iPod, uh, I have to say classic, because now if you search iPod, fourth gen or whatever, you know, you won't pull up with, uh, you know, uh, iPod, just like a standard iPod, you come up with like an iPod touch or something. So for the heck of it, I'm going to tell you it's a iPod classic fourth gen. Anyway, so, um, right here, I was going to show a couple things because most people, when you look online and I've looked over the forms and everything, and most people don't have, I mean, think it's only for like I mean, they don't think, it's just not written about uh, it being done with uh, um, grayscale, but it is done with color um, ones, which, by the way, the color and the grayscale both look exactly the same, except the screen's, well, colored. Um, so, in this, I'm going to first show you how to uh, change the uh, hard drive to a compact flash. Um, I have it right here. I already have it installed, but I just want to show, you know, the simplicity. Uh, you get an adapter like this. It's really easy, and uh, when you get it, if you have, like, wires, I don't know why I put the uh, wire cutter, but um, so what you do is you cut, like, uh, if I can get um, right on this side, and then you just place it in. It's really easy. Um... But you also have to have a cardboard piece like this. I uh, decided to uh, just take a random one out of the recycle bin and uh, turn it into a uh, little thing to put in here. So, uh, first off, I'm going to be opening it. So, let me just grab my uh, tools. Or, singularly, tool. Um, I actually got this... Uh, at a donation bin, I, uh, you know, I was looking through it because I had an old Android and I was putting it away and I thought, you know, I might want to see what's in there, so I kind of reached my hand in there. I kind of feel bad about it, so, um, I re since I replaced a lot, I, uh, did replace the, um, internals, in other words, the, um, this is the, uh, motherboard of it or the logic board and so I figured out that it wasn't actually the logic board that was screwed up in here it was actually the um, just the wire that goes here so I was thinking with this extra logic board I have I could probably maybe um, there's this mod I need to figure out how to do it because there's also just color um, iPod mods on how to do the uh, Wolfson chip and uh, what you do is you put like capacitors or something and it basically upgrades the um, storage or memory. No, 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 not the storage or memory, the um, audio quality. And of course, you gotta have Rockbox and all that. And um, on all my hard drives and uh, solid states, I have uh, Rockbox installed. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try upgrade on here. And I'm gonna buy an iPod and I'm going to put it back in that bin uh, for someone else uh, less fortunate than me. You know, just for fun. I mean, it is spending money to be, you know, feel bad for doing this and taking it, so I'm going to do that. Uh, anyway, let's get down to it. So, uh, first off, um, what I got to do, I'm going to lay this on the cup I have right here. Uh, by the way, this is uh, not my, this is my dorm room, because um, I go to a boarding school now, so it's a little bit different now. So, what I first do... I don't recommend doing this if you don't want to damage your iPod. I uh, actually took out the uh, the uh, plastic piece right here when I did it. So uh, if I can get this correctly, what I will do, normally this takes like one second for me and I'll be done. And so once you get it open like that, uh, you know, just take uh, the side pop off the cord. You don't want to yank it out. Or I did that with an R iPod uh, one of my dad's friends gave me and it basically just snapped and I had the whole thing. So as you see you have the hard drive. Um, simply what you do 
is you pull the uh, ribbon right here. And once you pull the ribbon, you're stuck with this. You have the battery, you have your uh, wire. So now you take this and simply, uh, of course, after you uh, get that part uh, off, you um, simply slide it in. And yes, there is going to be pins sticking out right here, and it will show an indentation where the pins will be sticking out. So that's all going to be fine. So once you do that, uh, take a cardboard slit. Uh, I've tried it without, and it doesn't work uh, very well. For some reason, I don't understand how it works. It's probably something to do with the position and the movement and the uh, compression of the internal parts of here. Uh, I don't know any of that stuff, so I'm not going to get into that. Also, I'm not good at soldering, so when I do actually uh, you know, solder this on, I'm probably going to give it to a professional and try to print out some instructions on how to do it for them, because I do not trust myself in soldering. If you don't believe me, I have two cassette players I'm working on, and one of them has bad joints, three bad joints, and I just can't get around to do it because I'm afraid of uh, ruining the entire vice. Anyway, you know, click snap it in. By the way, I do want to say, in my own personal opinion, when I've used a grayscale iPod, it seems the battery lasts longer than when I use a color one. And you guys can all get on scientific on me and probably this and that, and maybe I'm wrong, but it feels like when I use this, uh, the battery lasts longer. Anyway, um, you unlock it, obviously. I have uh, Rockbox pre-installed, so personally, uh, I do want to show one extra thing, that if you have Rockbox on a grayscale iPod, and this is pretty much useless, but I found it kind of interesting to do, uh, if you go to files, um, and let's just, you can make a videos folder, and I will Right here I have a uh, list of um, uh, what the codec has to be, and I use this program on my Mac called Adapter, and it basically uh, it uses MP2 and MPEG uh, Layer 2 on the uh, video. Anyway, so um, I'm going to play a little bit of O'Grady, and if you guys don't know what O'Grady is, it's not a, there was an old show that used to be on, if you guys know, uh, The N. And it was like made by the end, and it's really, really cool. Um, it had uh, John H. Benjamin, who was in, uh, if you've ever seen uh, Bob's Burgers or um, uh, Lucy, the son of um, Lucifer, I think it's called. Uh, anyway, or oh, also Archer. Like, I can't forget Archer. If I forgot Archer, I'd be a freaking idiot. Anyway, so. Uh, you can play videos, and it the playback is sucky, as you can see. Um, really looks bad. I find it, you know, kind of decent if you're doing, like, a black and white movie or a cartoon, because the colors, uh, you know, the grayscale kind of goes with it, and it, it's visible. Uh, on, let's just say I uh, have Wall Street from 1987 on here, just as an example you can barely see anything it's like almost invisible because of how much um, you know is going on in the video anyway uh, so that's all that uh, there was one more thing I want to show you guys um, and uh, also by the way if you ever do want to, I do want to tell you this if you are going to uh, install Rockbox when you do sync files do not sync it directly from Rockbox um, because for some reason, and I've realized this over time, it corrupts your files. Um, I don't know, maybe, uh, iPod, Apple's kind of a jerk and they just, you know, don't want other operating systems or something. And I, I can see that because Apple does not like all that stuff. They hate jailbreaking, so I mean, they must hate this. Must have, because they don't make these anymore. Anyway, so as you click, uh, you hit, hit the lock button up here and the original Apple OS will start up the one that's default on here that I don't think if there's a way if you can single boot it but I'd say that's pretty stupid once you get onto here um, sync it 
and uh, move your music, drag and drop, or whatever you do. Uh, if you don't want to drag and drop, I recommend Double Twist. Not the new one, get the old one. Um, I'm going to get the old one. I think uh, use web.archive to uh, go to their older website, or maybe, um, maybe they have it. I don't know. Uh, use their older program and sync with this, because that works really well. Um, and then when you reboot, uh, uh, you can have your uh, files on, like, I have a folder just for music, and it's all uh, FLAC files. Anyway, that's all that. I did want to show one more cool thing. Um, and a lot of people have reviewed these, and, you know, I just thought, you know, just for fun, because I think, you know, it's kind of a cool buy. Apple released an accessory years ago uh, for iPods. They probably will not work if you have one of the bigger um, uh, iPhones nowadays. But if you have a um, smaller iPod or like fourth gen uh, iPhone or whatever, you can use something we call an iPod sock. Now, iPod socks, uh, there are ripoffs on from China and Yes, uh, this is made in China, but, you know, for novelty reasons, and so I'd have a genuine iPod symbol, and yes, call me a consumer, I do not enjoy, but I will tell you this, I don't enjoy, uh, new Apple products, even though they're, you know, they're still made in China, and everything's made in China from them, but, um, beside the point, um, I do like their older ones because they have cool designs, but, uh, they come in six colors, um, they're, I decided to get these because um, uh, they're really hard to find on eBay sometimes, and sellers will sometimes sell like a stock of these. And you know, I found one guy who sold them. I thought, you know, I gotta snatch them up. I don't know when the next time they'll be available online is. So I thought, you know, I'll get it. It's like if I wanted to get the Iron Giant on Laserdisc. Um, I wouldn't get it now because it's like five hundred dollars. But you know, if one day I wanted to, I would get it. Uh, anyway. So, they come in five different colors, as you can see. Uh, if you get the box with it, it's pretty cool. And I keep it for display reasons, because I, you know, I like the design of how the box looks in it. And it fits pretty cool on my shelf up there. Um, so, traditionally, because I have black headphones uh, made by Sony, um, I prefer to use a, a blue. But if I was to go uh, a little more traditional, I would go... Uh, green but anyway so see this uh what you gotta do is uh, sorry hey there was a controversy going on outside about dragons and uh i don't know why i just listened to in anyway so what you do is you take this take this and i mean obviously i, I don't even know why i had to make a how to do this but there are very specific people out there. It's kind of weird. It will slide out like this, and it looks like it won't fit on it, but it's more of a stretchable thing. So it, you know, fits exactly perfectly on it. And in the end, it uh, looks like uh, this. It has a, um, you know, you'll have the Apple logo to the side. It will be in a case like this, and oh, it looks pretty nice. Um, Anyway, uh, feel free to comment on my video if you like it. Uh, if you don't like it, you know, nevertheless, same thing. Uh, do whatever you want. Um, anyway, I hope you guys like this video. If you guys want to know anything about, you know, the 4th Gen Grayscales, um, contact me, uh, message me, whatever you want to do. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.